Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brian from Whisper Status 74. You're looking at the Forza Horizon 4 demo on the Xbox One X in HDR. Um, I'll be running the PC version next in a separate video as the demo is actually pretty long. It's very impressive. The way they set up this video or demo is amazing as it goes through all the seasons that are in the game. And I thought it was a tremendous way to do the demo as it gave you a true feeling of how the game really looks. And it's probably the best looking racing game I've ever seen. Um, in terms of its the way it looks, the colors, the HDR really makes a big difference. The PC version I'll be showing you in Ultra. It won't be in HDR, and I think that's the really big difference. So um, you won't hear much of the sound as I'm a little crazy with the copyrights these days. So you'll just be hearing me talk. The game looks tremendous. We'll take it slow too so I don't crash. But... Um, the differences I can tell you right off the bat are HDR is obviously making it look a little more dim, but more rich in terms and warmer in terms of its color palette. Um, the reflections off the car, I mean the game is really gorgeous. Now does it look better in Forza Horizon 3? I believe it does, but it's kind of like comparing Far Cry games as Forza Horizon 3 is... You know, it was in Australia, so it had just different locals as far as its beach and different terrain, just like you look at Far Cry 5 versus Far Cry 3. You know, totally different areas, but beautiful game. Now, for me, the warmth in the sun going through the trees and everything is just... HDR does bring that as it's not quite as bright, but it just seems more realistic than um, I've noticed it on the PC. Now, the PC um, isn't recognizing my HDR TV, which it's done before unless I enable HDR in Windows, which I'm not a fan of doing because I can't turn it off with certain games. I tend not to use HDR on PC, guys. Let me know in the comments if you do use your HDR on your PC. I don't love it on PC. I find it to be very clunky. I will be purchasing this game on PC. That way I can play it on both the Xbox One and the PC. What's interesting about that Go Anywhere Windows Pass, or Pass, the Play Anywhere, in order to get it, you need to buy it online. You can't buy it from a retailer. So my Gears of War... Um, 4 isn't playable on my PC unless I ordered it off the Microsoft Store, which is pretty interesting, but I guess it makes sense. So if you want to get the Play Anywhere feature, you have to purchase it off of the Microsoft Windows, not out of GameStop or anything like that. Now, I'm also running this game in its quality preset, which is 4K at 30 FPS. And I'll be running a PC at 4K Ultra at 60 FPS. Now I'm okay running this game at 30 FPS. So I think a lot of these games are 30 FPS in terms of racing titles. If I can tell you any of the differences I can see, it's not quite as sharp as the PC version, nor should it be, but... From what I can see of the two versions, I would have no problem picking this version up and playing it. And probably if I was going to choose between the two, you know, I'd probably go with the Xbox One X version just because I like the P I like the HDR utilization on it more than I do on the PC. Then again, I haven't tried it on the PC. So with the Go Anywhere Windows thing, I'll be able to play both, so I won't lose either way. Now, the visuals on the Xbox One X and the PS4 Pro, if you're looking at Red Dead Redemption, you're looking at Last of Us, um, it doesn't matter what the horsepower is on either one of these consoles. They look tremendous. I mean, they really do look great. Considering, too, that, you know, my graphics card costs more than both of these systems put together. So if that makes anything, you know, makes you realize what you're getting pound for pound in terms of performance, cost of performance... Consoles are pretty amazing.
What I like about our console generation that we have now is I really do use everything pretty evenly. You know, I have a Spider-Man for the PS4 Pro. I'll be looking for all of my exclusives on the PS4. And the Xbox, you know, is kind of my multiplayer machine. And the PC is just if I want everything to look amazing and go back and play older titles in 4K. But this game looks beautiful. The reflections, um, the clouds, everything just looks spot on. Now the aliasing, the trees, things like that, you know, they're not crystal clear. You're going to see some pop in here and there. It's a demo, but considering what you're seeing on screen, it's pretty amazing. Forza Horizon 3 was very rough looking when it first came out on the Xbox One um, and the One S. Very fuzzy looking. Whoa. Now I'm going to say that the PC version definitely has more pop, but I think that's also because HDR isn't enabled. So a lot of times when you disable HDR, things tend to be more vibrant, which always seems counterintuitive when we talk about what high dynamic range is supposed to really mean. But it's definitely more colorful here. Just not as bright. <clears throat> when I run the PC version, I'll also have my brightness and things down to try and balance it. But here everything's set to max because of HDR. The speed of the game is also incredible. That feeling of speed, it really gets you there. The cars, I mean, very, very detailed. I mean, that is beautiful. And again, the sense of speed mixed with the visuals. You know, it used to be if you had visuals like this, you definitely lost the speed. The 30 FPS feels fine. This is also being viewed on a Sony 900E 75 inch display for those of you that are new to the channel. Xbox One X um, on its quality preset. Now you can do um, 1080p I believe at 60. There's a performance mode that's not being passed that's here to stay so that is excellent to give you that. And the HDR slider um, in this game unlike Forza Horizon 3 is more accurate. I'm not going to win it. Am I going to win it? Give it to me. Ah, no. Anyway, guys, that's Xbox One X, Forza Horizon 4. It looks amazing. We'll see the PC version up next. Thank you, as always, everyone. Take care.